And as numbers of COVID-19 increase daily at the prison, today protesters rallied outside of Elkton for the second weekend in a row, hoping to get their voices heard. With that story new right now at 6, here's First News reporter Carolyn Sistrand. We are the voice for them. For the second consecutive weekend, protesters stood outside Elkton Federal Prison, worried for their loved ones and others who are inside, as COVID-19 has already claimed the lives of six Elkton inmates. Oh, you know, he's worried he didn't get to see his son again. Connie Childry's son is an inmate at the prison and said he's afraid he might get sick and not make it out. Ebony Pickens' son is also inside Elkton and says her son has been symptomatic for three and a half weeks. Currently, he's unable to um, smell and he's unable to taste his food. The, the inmates are checked every day. They're, they're being screened every day for any symptoms. If the inmate believes that they are symptomatic, they have been instructed to go straight to health services. Elkton Prison Union President Joseph Maley says that anyone who is reporting symptoms is being treated immediately and they are put into isolation. But they do worry that some inmates aren't reporting symptoms. Because there are some inmates that just refuse to let anyone know that they're sick because they don't want to go into isolation because they want the freedom of going through their wall locker or going to make a telephone call or taking a shower when they want or or something of that nature. Maley says that he personally believes there were some actions the Bureau of Prisons could have done earlier that could have helped stop the exposure of the virus. But he says that his staff and the warden have done everything in their power to make the conditions the best they can. But can I say right now that there is something else that we could be doing that is going to change the outcome of exposure and the outcome of pretty much just running its course? Um, absolutely not. In Elkton, Carolyn Sistrand, WKBN 27 First News.